how to make a campground website with booking system. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple and easy campground website where you can also have a booking system. So let's get into it. Now, you can see I have created this sample kind of website and if I click on the book online, then I have the simple kind of booking service as well. So there are two ways that you can do this. One is creating your website via Wix or the other is to create it via Calendly. Now, if you are already a busy person, and you don't want to spend a lot of time designing or creating this website, you just want a simple and easy and clear to use setup, then you can use Calendly. But if you want to focus more on the aesthetics of your campground or if you want to promote your campground in a different kind of light or you want to, you know, put more focus into the campground rather than just focusing on the booking, then you can use Wix. Now to get started with Wix, you're just going to log onto your Wix account or whatever kind of account you have. You can create your Wix account via your email address and once you do that you're just going to click on create new site over here and once you click on create new site you're going to choose the wix website editor and once you choose that you are just going to wait for the editor to load up and you're going to answer a few questions i'm just going to skip these questions over here and we're going to move on ahead to the actual website templates now you can do two things you can either use the wix website editor to create your website using a template or a basic layout or you can use the wix adi to create a website for you now if you want to save time go with the adi but if you want a bit more of a custom touch then you can use the wix website editor now i'm just going to continue with a template and you can pick out any kind of template so you can search for booking and you can take a look at the different kind of templates available where they have booking widgets already integrated into the website so these uh, templates all have booking sites where you can just enter your own like campground sections or you know campground features whatever you can add all of those over here like you have this adventure tour company template and you can click on view over here just to take a look at what this template really looks like and you can see you have these bookings over here the trip is very similar to what a campground website would look like and you can easily edit it now for this website i would recommend to use like a template like this for most people but i'm gonna get started from scratch so i'm gonna click on blank templates over here and i'm just going to click on this minimal layout or you can choose any kind of layout you want and i'm just going to continue with the minimal layout over here and i'm going to begin creating my website now to get started with our booking website or our scheduling website for our campground the first thing you need to do is uh, gather your information and data on the campground gather your images gather all of that stuff and once you have that you can see on your left you have wix website editing tools and this is the preview of your website the first thing i'm going to do is enter the site name which is going to be soho campground is the name that i'm going to go with and i'm just going to move this right over here and i'm going to decrease the size like so i'm going to move this up and now what i'm going to do is I'm going to click on manage media and I'm going to enter a image in the back. So on the image, I'm going to first off delete the excess images and now I'm going to search for the image. So I'm going to click on replace image and I'm going to use media from Wix. Obviously, you're going to upload your own website, but I'm just going to search for camp over here and I'm just going to enter this kind of image to our basic layout and I'm going to click on replace image for this as well. I'm going to go on to media from Wix and I'm going to go campground. So I'm just going to take this campground and I'm going to click on add to page and now I'm just going to click on done and I'm going to wait for my images to load and this is what it's currently looking like. Now after that I'm going to delete this top section, take my text over here and I'm going to add the best family campsite around. I'm going to enter like so and I'm going to change the color of the text and now I'm just going to place this over here and now I'm going to click on my pages. You can see there are four basic pages so you can click on menus and pages over here and I'm going to remove all these excess pages because I'm really focusing on the basics so I'm going to delete all of that stuff and I'm going to click on add page. I'm going to click on blank page and I'm going to add a blank page over here and I'm going to name this bookings. And now I'm just going to click on the add apps over here. And from add apps, what you're going to do is you're going to search for bookings and you have Wix bookings available. So you can integrate Wix bookings. You're just going to click on add to site and then you can add it to your Wix website. So you're adding Wix bookings over here or you can add any other booking website that is totally up to you. So 
Uh, I'm adding Wix bookings. You can add any other free one as well. Wix bookings is not available for free. There are some um, payments that you have to make. It's around $17 to $10 per month, depending on if you have a coupon or not. Usually you can find coupons for these kind of things. But you can see there are other booking sites as well that are available for free. Like you have booking list, which is also very good. So let's say if I was to use booking list, I'm going to click on add to site and I'm just going to wait for this to load. I'm going to click on add to site and I'm just going to integrate that into my website. I'm going to click on open and you can choose whatever one you want. So that is totally up to you. And now I'm going to delete the Wix bookings layout and I'm just going to make sure to have our booking store up. I'm going to go back. And now I'm going to open up the actual website editor. So this is my actual website editor. And I'm going to click on my booking calendar. I have my booking services. So I'm just going to click on booking services. And I'm going to add my multiple participant. So now you're just going to, instead of adding your service title, you're going to add your campsite name. So if you have multiple uh, campgrounds, uh, let's say this is going to be Seaview Campsite. So instead of actually adding services, you're going to be adding these sites and then you're going to add, be adding the price for each one of these and just like that, so on and so forth, you will be adding your own services. So you're going to click on add a new service and you're going to add what kind of service this is. And now we're going to add our new campsite. This is going to be Mountain View Campsite. Just like that, I'm going to add two of these. I'm going to click on save. And once I have done that, you can click on booking calendar on your left over here and then people can book accordingly. You can click on add sessions and you can click on blocked time and you can block off the time according to a certain staff member or a certain title. So let's say if you have someone that blocks some time, you can add that. If there's a time where the campsite is closed, you can add block time over there as well. And you can click on your booking list over here to see how long people have actually booked your service for. So I have added those uh, booking sites and I'm just going to publish my website over here. And once you have published your website, we're just waiting for our website to be published. Now you can see over here that our website is ready and live. So if I click on book online over here, then you have your services or your actual campground sites and you can click on book now over here to start booking your sites. Obviously, I haven't set up the complete booking system, but you can see these are different calendar slots that people can check the availability and they can just click on next and they can just choose the next time and date available for the service. So that is how simple and easy it is to create your website with free web hosting and domains using Wix.com. You can do the same with Calendly if you want to be more time efficient, but if you want some more details and a more professional look, then you can opt for Wix. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own campsite booking website using Wix. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.